Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to be playing some mobile rhythm games. This is a list of the mobile rhythm games that I usually play. Well, I don't play all of them all the time, but uh, I'll arrange this list based on the ones I play the most and the ones I play the least. And also another disclaimer, I'm not going to play any of the idol games in this video because I don't really play the idol games and they are a whole category of their own. And I know a bunch of people will ask why is X game not in this list and why is that game not in this list. I know a lot more mobile rhythm games than the games installed on my iPad right now, just that I haven't tried them yet so I'm not going to show any random games that I have not played. And even though this video is not sponsored by any of the mobile app developers in this video, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey kids! Well, over age 13 and above because of legal compliance with the FTC and Compa rule. Are you a gamer and a part of the 90% of gamers who want to be a game developer if your streaming or YouTube career doesn't make it? I got just the right thing for you! Skillshare. Skillshare is a website with an online learning community where people can join and learn almost anything they want. Are you a complete beginner or are you a pro? Don't worry, Skillshare's got your back and has classes for anyone at any skill level. And yes, they have classes on game development too. You can learn how to make games for PC or for Android with Unity, C Sharp, Python and more. One class I've been watching is Game Development, an introduction to Unity for Absolute Beginners by Diego Herrera. Skillshare is a website made for learning. That means there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. And premium membership is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. If you want to watch this class too, check out the link in my description. The first 1,000 people who clicks the link will get a trial of premium membership. And that class I'm watching is a premium membership class only too. So get onto Skillshare with my trial link today. And now, let's begin the video. Alright, so first in this list, we have Arkea. This one is really obvious if you watch me for a while. And uh, I have an entire video just dedicated to Arkea. Yeah, it's the typical four lanes. And you have these things called arcs. Uh, red means right, blue means left. Generally, you don't need to follow the colors. They also have these, these things called sky notes. The, they are those grey stuff in the air. So one thing to know for most people who are interested in this game, well, it's not completely free, but the game itself is free. There's a lot of songs, song packs that are paid in this game that you have to pay like real life money for a while to get them. Other songs are unlocked in game itself. I think no is that there's many different levels in this game and you can't play anything higher than 9 plus in the free pack. So if you want to get anything harder, it's all in the paid ones. And um the memory archive which everything is paid. God, I don't like Psycho Stronger. And that's it for Arkea. This is a very short introduction to what it is because I already talked about it in an entire video. So let's just move on to the next one. And the second game we have in our list is Lanota. I've been bothering myself to make a video on this game for ages as that I have not. When I first saw gameplay of Lanota, I just thought to myself I had to play this because the playfield is a circle that can zoom in, zoom out and turn around. So Lanota has the typical press notes. There is no set number of lanes because the entire playfield is a circle. Notes can be everywhere. They also have flick notes with flick specific di directions. Flick outside of the circle or into the circle. And then they have our typical hold notes. Planota has these catch notes which are these blue notes. The thing that bothers me the most in Lanota is the flick notes. I'm not a huge fan of flick notes in any rhythm game at all. <laughs> And by the way, Lanota actually has a story, but um, I'm not really well versed with what happens in the story. But if you're into stories uh, with a visual element to it, I think you might be interested in Lanota. Unlike Arkea, that's just a bunch of a wall text. Damn it! Okay, but that's it for Lanota. As for our third game, we'll be playing Figros. I did play it for quite a bit, but I'm not a huge fan of how there is no way to change your scroll speed in the game, but I can imagine if you could change your scroll speed, everything will go to shit in this game. Pretty interesting. <laughs> so the thing about Figros is that you can tap anywhere as long as it's the same line as the node. You can tap on the top if you want, or right at the bottom, or at the line. And the game also has flick notes, not a fan of that. It also has the same catch notes that uh, Lanota has. Okay, this is really cool. <laughs> I haven't seen the higher difficulty of this. Okay, that's the flick notes. Wait, did that flick note just, just yeet it out on the screen? <laughs> oh wow, this score is terrible. You guys should play Figurus. It's definitely one of the really cool free rhythm games you can get out there. If I'm not wrong, they don't have anything paid in the game yet. Everything is free. 
and that's really cool. And the fourth rhythm game is one that you've definitely heard of before, it's Cytus 1. Cytus is a paid game. It is free for Android though, if you're willing to watch and sit through ads. The game is simple, it's very different from the rest of the games that I've showed so far, which mostly follows the note going through a lane. This follows a line going up and down and you have to click circles. Uh, well not click but tap them. And then you have the hold notes and the slide notes. When Cytus 2 was coming out, I was really excited for it. And then I saw that it had flick notes and I instantly lost all excitement for the game because uh, like, freaking flick notes. I don't know if anyone else noticed but my favorite earning game for <laughs> phone has no flick notes. <laughs> It's been 4 years since I started playing Cytus and I still can't do the last 5 entrance. <laughs> and that's it for Cytus 1. And if we've gone through the 1, we gotta go through the number 2. Cytus 2. They did make a few quality of life changes in Cytus 2. In Cytus 1, the line moving up and down never changes speed. But for Cytus 2, the, the, the line speed can change midway through song. And that leads to more interesting charting styles and charting styles that fit the song a lot more. And I think about Cytus is that it has a story, but you only can follow the story through stories that are tied to each character. So you can read the story, but it's only specific per characters. The thing is that Cytus 2 has free characters, and it also has paid characters. So the gameplay in Cytus 2 is similar to Cytus 1, except that there's the flick notes. This wasn't in Cytus uh, 1. The good thing about flick notes though is that you can flick in any direction you want. Yeah, this is not a very good score. This is a terrible score. I don't actually like how Cytus plays. Personally, how the line only ever moves up and down, the charting always looks a certain way and I just wasn't a fan of that after I million mastered the first chapter of Cytus 1 and I realized, yeah, this circle game is not for me. <laughs> That's it for Cytus 2 and Cytus 1. Alright, for our sixth game, it will be A Dance of Fire and Ice. Uh, a Dance of Fire and Ice is not a free game actually, but you can find it at App Store and Play Store for pretty cheap. You can find my video of A Dance of Fire and Ice on, on my channel, I'll link it here. And it was pretty on my own world that I decided to buy this game because I like the game that much. Well, there's a couple of mechanics and each world teaches you how to play. I died. A Dance of Fire and Ice is a game that looks a lot easier than it is. And through different levels, it showed that different patterns actually mean different things in music. Ah shit. It works quite differently compared to the other rhythm games we've seen so far. And the best part is that you need one finger. So it's really a great game if you're on the bus or on the train. Although the thing about mobile A Dance of Fire and Ice is that you can't load any custom levels unlike the Steam version. Which might be a drawback for quite a number of people, but to me, A Dance of Fire and Ice is the kind of game that I love just bringing around and playing. It's just that convenient. And that's it for A Dance of Fire and Ice. So the seventh game we'll be trying is Over Rapid. So Over Rapid is a free game. There's paid parts to the game with like packs and everything but when it comes to over rapid you need to 100% put your device on the table because there's no way you can play this with thumbs and you need a phone that has a decently sized screen this game has six lanes and unlike other games that usually focus on two fingers like this over rapid needs you to always have your fingers in the six finger formation basically if you want to play really hard things on over rapid you're basically touching it as if you're touching a keyboard you can change the game to 4K actually, but I prefer 6K for some reason. These two middle lanes actually are notes and oh shit. Yeah, they can have normal notes in the two mi middle lanes, but the flick notes only appear in the two middle lanes. Green means you have to press at the same time. But yeah, that's it for Over Rapid. It's a pretty... It's fun. I don't know why I find it fun. I think it's because it's so simple and that's why I like it. For our eighth game, it's Muse Dash. Muse Dash was originally a mobile game and then it was ported to Steam. I don't remember setting her but okay. Oh, hey, Groove Coaster. Unlike the Steam version where you can buy different packs in the phone version, if you want to buy any of the packs, you have to buy the entire thing. So it's quite... It was really expensive. <laughs> Muse Dash is it's one of those games where you can play with your thumbs, but it's generally not very recommended. The game is also very reading heavy, so if you try it the very first time, don't expect yourself to do well at all. And generally this game is just, well, cute girls. If you want to hear more about uh, Muse Dash and all that, I have one entire video on the channel and I'll link it here. And that's basically it for Mustache. I don't really know what to say about it other than, well, it's 
definitely different. All right, so the next one we'll be playing is very interesting because it's not very, it's not like the rest of the games where they're all kind of anime. This one, you get to look at very handsome old dead people instead. This is Pianista. It seems to have an energy system in the game. So it means that you can't just keep playing the game. Yeah, so playing Pianista is pretty easy. You have the simple tap notes and then you have the hold notes and the slide notes, you know, the one that you catch. It seems that every single day there are different songs to play. So the song list is not consistent. It's always rotating. But the gameplay is so fun. So it makes me so sad. <laughs> you can play this game with two fingers. One thing I noticed about Pianista though is that the game can be quite easy. <laughs> it's not a very difficult game. I imagine this game was aimed at casuals. <laughs> That's fun. I, I like this game. Well, the hardest songs are not even that hard, honestly. <sighs> so yeah, uh, that's Pianista. I only installed it to like log in and just see what's the hardest thing I can play each day. <laughs> Alright, and for the next game, we just played a piano game and now we're going on to another piano game. The 10th game is Demo. I've always been kind of into Demo. Not because of the gameplay, but mostly because of the lore. The game is a paid game, but on Android it's free if you're willing to sit through ads. Yeah, so how to play Demo is very straightforward. You got the tap and then you got the slide and that's literally it. <laughs> okay, another cool thing about Demo is that everything is key sounded. Another thing I didn't really like about Demo is how the game looks. As in, the game looks great. When you hit too late, it makes sense that those just fall through the judgment line. But the thing that annoyed me the most was that if you hit too early in Demo, you just watch the note like explode in a distance. And yeah, honestly, that's it for Demo. There's really not much to say about the game. Personally, it's not really for me. I've always been way more into the story than the game. But well, right now, what I'm just waiting for is the Demo movie. I mean, it looks kind of unpolished, but I still want to watch it because... Hey, we, a rhythm game finally got a freaking movie. <laughs> Alright, for our 11th game, we're going to be playing Dance Real 3. The most interesting thing about Dance Real 3 to me, they have a skill analyzer. That's so interesting. Skill analyzer is in like those darn courses? Yeah, seriously. We have our typical tap notes and then we have uh, a ton of slide notes, I guess. The orange stuff is like the FX in Sound Vortex. Wait, what's that? Okay. I didn't know that existed. Wait, that's a flick note. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I imagine these, these are flicks you can do in any direction. How did I get an SS Plus? This, I did, like, I, I played like crap. Okay, this is actually really fun. I'm gonna play more. <laughs> if I'm not wrong, uh, Dance Zero 3 is a free game. And, uh, wow, the mini music sounds really eerie. <laughs> yeah, and that's it for uh, Dance Zero 3. And thanks for watching. That's it for the games I'm playing today. I will include Osu Stream and Osu, except that I imagine a lot of people already know what these are. And by the way, Osu Stream now is 100% free. Like, all the stuff in the store now that was paid back then is now free. And that's it for this video. I'd thank Skillshare for sponsoring me and be sure to check it out if you guys like my content because tech sponsors really help my channel. To be honest, I don't think that's all the games that I would recommend because there's so many more games that I haven't played. Oh, but if there's any game that I'm really waiting for, it's Roteno. The game's not out yet and I've been waiting for it since last year. It looks so interesting. It's a game where you literally rotate your phone to play because it uses a gyro sensor. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.